Good morning lovelies, hope you're all well. It's Thursday, it's the 2nd of July. Apologies, I missed Canada Day yesterday. It wasn't until I was speaking to someone from Vancouver, hi Claire, that I realised it was Canada Day. So I hope uh, Canadian viewers had a good day. Certainly where Claire was in Vancouver, weather wasn't great. But maybe that's no such bad thing if we're all meant to be staying in our groups. So, But hope you had a, a good day. Hope everyone else had a good day as well, whether you're celebrating anything or not. So, I guess it's Thursday. Um, today I have working at home and also a socially distanced lunch with some friends. So that will be good. And being Thursday, it's Theatricals Day. <laughs> so firstly, um, thank you to Joelle, who let me know that Hamilton is showing on Disney+. Plus. It's a one-time showing, so if you have Disney+, Plus or access to it, she recommends having a look to see where it, when it's showing in your region, because it will be different in different places, and it is a, a one-off opportunity. So if you have access to that, I hope you enjoy it. Other musicals on the Shows Must Go On channel, uh, it's Michael Flatley, Celtic Tiger this week. That's from tomorrow evening, so that's Friday evening, 7 o'clock British Summer Time. As with all the, the Shows Must Go On musicals, do check if you're interested, because some are only available for limited times, according to various copyright rulings. So do check that out. National Theatre at Home this week is a play called Les Blancs by Lorraine Hansbury. And I'll read you the blurb. An African country teeters on the edge of civil war. A society prepares to drive out its colonial present and claim an independent future. Shembe, returned home from England for his father's funeral, finds himself in the eye of the storm. A brave, illuminating and powerful work that confronts the hope and tragedy of revolution. So I hope you enjoy that if you watch it. Looks very interesting. So that's Le Blanc and that's the National Theatre production, which I will link all of these in the notes below. Also, Knitting Bandit was asking about books and the genre of books that I like. A um, bit of everything, really. A uh, bit of brain science, a bit of crime, a bit of fantasy. If it looks interesting, I'll, I'll have a go. I'm not afraid to abandon books. If I... My ruling used to be page 50. If I got to page 50 and I still did not care a thing about any of the protagonists, uh, any of the characters, then I would give up on it. <laughs> and for a long time, having done a bit of writing myself in the past, for a long time I thought, no, someone's put time and effort into this. Well, they have, but part of the purpose of their time and effort is to keep the reader engaged. So if I wasn't, I didn't spend any more time on it that's a personal ruling not everyone feels the same way and I know there are some books that I've kept going and it's been worth it in the end but uh, page 50 used to be my rule on that but yeah I'll, I'll have a go at most things really uh, what I will do is put in the notes the list of book recommendations that you lovely people suggested a few weeks ago when we were talking about books so if you are looking for a bit of reading inspiration I'll put the list below so I think that's it for the moment I will catch up with you again later if the weather brightens up I will take you on my journey for my socially distanced lunch it's not very far away but it's quite rural quite pretty so um, we'll see what, but if it's not good weather then it's, there's very little point <laughs> but take care all and speak to you soon hello lovelies oh very fluffy today hope you've had a good day had a nice time catching up with my friends so i'll put a bit of footage of the journey on the the end here and apart from that working and talking to my dad it's a normal day 
hope you've all had a good day hope you're all keeping well thank you very much for all the comments all the thoughts and observations i really do appreciate them it's uh 20 past five in the afternoon now so i've got some more work to do and then that will be it for today a couple of ceremonies tomorrow and lots of writing up so but i did have a delivery of a new gadget today I have told himself that if he's a naughty boy, he's got to sit on this. And you can see there, it is an implement of torture. This is a blending board, so you can make your own Rolex to spin from by putting different colours of fibre together and blending them. So I'm looking forward to playing with that at some point. I wasn't expecting it so quickly actually, it came through very speedily. So that'll be something to play with when I have my time off or when I finish my sister's sweater. That's the all other toys can be played with after that. <laughs> so I should be working on that again this evening. I am about, I think I've got about five or six rows and then the rib on the first for the cuff on the first sleeve and then onward with the second. So you will get an almost stitch by stitch progress on this as I get towards the uh, the finishing post. Thanks again for everything. Take care. Links in the notes below for all the theatricals and the recommendations of books and stuff like that. And I hope you have a good rest of day. Thanks everyone. Bye bye.